A variety of elements must be considered defining low energy consumption, silent operation, and adequate air circulation before installing a ventilation system. Two types of ventilation systems are available, galvanized or flexible plastic duct ones. The key factor is properly selected system components and right assembly solutions. The duct system must be as short as possible, have no sharp branches and fast transitions, be airtight to avoid air loss and prevent pollutants from entering, have smooth internal surface. Accessories for the galvanized and flexible plastic duct systems are the same. They are equipped together with a ventilation unit. A ventilation unit is the heart of the system. It supplies fresh air and extracts used air from the premises. Units are available with rotary or plate heat exchangers. The outdoor intake opening shall be positioned to take in the cleanest air possible. The outdoor intake and exhaust openings shall maintain a distance avoiding the mixture of two flows. The outer ventilation grill keeps debris and snow from entering the ducts. The recommended grill size should be at least one pitch larger than the duct. Outdoor intake and exhaust ducts must be thermally insulated. This is required to prevent condensation and heat loss. When a ventilation unit is not working, the motorized dampers close the system automatically. Then cold outdoor air cannot enter the premises and warm air cannot escape from the building. Silencers are used for attenuating noise coming from a ventilation unit. Special construction and sound insulating material absorb air vibrations and reduce noise. The effectiveness of rounded silencers is several times lower in comparison with rectangular partitioned ones. A wide range of specially designed components are offered for installing a galvanized duct ventilation system. Connectors used in the ventilation system ensure airtight duct connections and direct air flows to the premises. Properly mounted duct connectors reduce air resistance. This has a significant impact on a fan's energy consumption. Modern T-pieces installed in the air supply lines reduce air resistance and provide better sound insulation among rooms. Regulating dampers distribute air flows to different rooms. The volume of supply or exhaust air is adjusted according to the project requirements. Excessive use of dampers causes additional resistance to the airflow. Crossings can be installed in places where ducts are intersecting each other. Crossings allow air flows to pass each other without increasing the system height. Air enters the premises through the diffuser connection boxes. Diffusers are available in two types, ceiling mounted or wall mounted. They can also be offered according to the design requirements. High air speed in the duct system can cause undesirable noise. Thus an airflow is slowed down and distributed in the distribution box. The special sound insulation reduces noise and the inner damper controls the airflow. The flexible duct ventilation system is designed for compact spaces, which lack room for ventilation systems. Compact and flexible ducts can be easily installed on the ceiling, floor, or walls. Housing of the plastic duct is flexible yet mechanically robust. The outer surface of the duct is corrugated to ensure the maximum flexibility, while the inner surface is smooth. The smooth surface, similar to the galvanized system, helps to ensure quiet operation and to avoid air resistance. Consequently, less energy is consumed in order to provide the required air volume. An anti-static and antibacterial inner surface prevents accumulation of dust and microorganisms. Air tightness of the system is ensured 
due to small amount of connecting elements. For joints of flexible ducts and components, special gaskets must be used. This ensures tightness of the system. Air distribution boxes are used as a transition from the main duct to the selected number of flexible ducts. The inner perforated plate evenly distributes the airflow. Diffuser connection boxes are used for slowing down and distributing the airflow. For balancing air volumes, additional controlling and suppressing elements can be used. Bypasses are used for bypassing obstacles and reducing the height of the system at the duct intersection. A correctly designed ventilation system provides reduced energy consumption, higher reliability, and comfort. The client's needs, as well as advantages and disadvantages of the galvanized or plastic duct systems, must be taken into account before choosing the right one. Advantages of the galvanized duct system Lower pressure loss, accurate balancing, and lower price. Disadvantages Complex design and assembly requires more space and higher qualified installer. Advantages of the flexible plastic duct system Low height, easy and quick installation, acoustic separation. Disadvantages Higher price, expensive operation, limited application. The selection of right components as well as assembling solutions is essential, no matter which system you choose.